All right, great. So happy Tuesday, everybody. This is probably the most epic Tuesday team call because we have Kathy Coover as our guest trainer tonight. And before I start asking Kathy some questions, um, I just wanted to let you guys honestly in on how amazing this company is that the owners of the company are so involved with the field and that's us working, the associates um, representing the company. And I heard from Kathy Wednesday and I was telling her about the team. She was asking me how you guys were all doing. I was telling her how excited everybody is how committed you all are and how consistent you are. And I was like, you know, I know you're so busy, but if you ever could be on a team call for us, I know my team would love it. And she's like, oh, I could do Tuesday. I could do next Tuesday. And I just thought that was so great. And she did have a call right before this and still popped on ours. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys all understand how special this is. I know for a lot of you, this is your very first company, but that's pretty special. Those of you who have come from other companies know that is. So thank you so much, Kathy. Um, you're really the heart of Isogenics because I know you understand what it's like to be on the associate side, which makes it so awesome. And then the next thing I wanted to just say before I start asking you questions, seriously, congratulations on this. We, most of us have read it, if not almost have gone through it. They all wave in the books. We've discussed it. Um, a lot of the feedback has just been not only how well put together it is with your story and the vision you had from early on and how you worked through that, um, the early days when you were working as an associate for different companies, all the different, um, different leaders and isogenics that you brought in, but also the practical tips that you gave in the book. So the feedback has just been great. You did such an awesome job, and I know that was something on your heart to write a book for a while. So definitely we loved it. Epic job on that. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Well, and thank you for your leadership, um, Rob and Gina. You guys are amazing. You know, really, you're just leading a great team and you're just consistent, keep pushing and pushing, and we appreciate you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're committed. We love Ice and Dice. <laughs> yes, we do. So let's get started with um, asking you some questions. The first one I have is just you know, there's some new people here. There's some people that haven't even ever been to an event. Some people just started. Some came from other companies. If you can tell us a little bit about your background and then why you're so excited about Isogenics, especially now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, just a little bit about my background. Um, I was a health professional for 18 years. I was a dental hygienist and, and I really did love my profession and it was gave me flexibility and all those things. But after I had Eric, I, I just wanted to stay home and be a great mom, but I also wanted something else to do. So my amazing husband, Jim, kept encouraging me for eight years. It took him to get me to take a look at network marketing. And um, I finally said yes. And I jumped in and I'll tell you what, it was the biggest personal growth development part of my life, especially my first build, because my biggest fear in life was speaking in front of the room. Second biggest fear in life was explaining a compensation plan. And, um, but you know, I just gradually got over my fears and just kept working on the things that I was weak at and kept practicing, 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 built a huge organization, was with that company for five years, and then they sold that company. So I I had to um, look for another one because I had integrity issues with the owners. It wasn't something I would put my name behind. And so I built another one from scratch. And um, that was my biggest run ever. It was huge. And um, unfortunately, they had issues with regulatory issues because they didn't listen to their attorneys. That's why we listened to our attorneys. And then I built another one. And then September 11th hit. So um, it, that just crushed that business. But I learned so much from that journey. I learned so much. And I can tell you everything that happened to me prepared me for isogenics, all those things. I look back at that and I thought, wow, that prepared me to do it right. And then we started isogenics in 2002, really to create a company that was all about the people, something you could count on, a legacy that you could build for your family, something that would be there for your kids, something you'd be so proud to be a part of. And um, it's just been an amazing journey. And you know, we're 18 years, and I'm telling you right now, I've never been so excited about the future of Isogenics 
We, I mean, you just saw a little glimpse of all the new imagery, Gina, on our new opportunity presentation. It's just everything, we're upgrading everything because you have to evolve in this world. And so we're evolving, we're changing, um, you know, we'll, we're adding new products, we'll be eliminating a lot of products that don't meet our standards. And we're taking it to the next level. And there's not a better time to do it than right now because people have, their lives have been disrupted, disrupted and they are looking for options and they know now that they really do need to have their own business as something they can count on besides what they're currently doing. They want to have that nest egg. They want to have that security net and no better thing being in the health and wellness because it's so positive. It's just the best profession ever. So we have a lot, you haven't, we, you haven't seen anything of 2.0 really. It's really 2.1 right now. You know, we were just on a big call uh, before and you know, there's gonna be so many things coming at the end of the year and then the new website and, and then the new um, engine for ordering will be available, everything. But we have to do it in segments because you can't just do it all at once because we have to keep our existing website going while creating the new one. And then we need our e-commerce to be to, to work but then we're building another one so it's it's really double double work but it's all worth it it's just going to make your life easier and um just so many new things you've seen some of the things the new little short fun videos you know and our new vision and it just makes it easier we, we still are still biggest category is weight loss but it's it's really weight loss is about feeling better it's about looking better so we're using the words that that are you know really in people's hearts and really get their why. I want to look better. I want to feel better. You know, I want to do better. And so that's what you're going to see this evolution. So it's, it, I've never been so excited and, and it's really a lot of Eric's vision. So it's, he is, yeah, just, it's fabulous. He's, he's amazing, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's, he was just great yes, on the last call. Um, no, so the next question, we do a lot of goal setting, obviously with Isogenics in general and our team specifically really focus on goals. What advice do you have that you've seen other leaders maybe do for themselves and their teams to really stay focused on those goals? Because you know how it is when you get excited and then you come back and maybe fizzle. So how would you like some advice there with that, sticking with the goals and focusing on them? Well, you know, that is a, a challenge that everybody has because life gets in the way. But you have to make this so important that nothing will get in the way. You know, that's the way you need to think. Nothing will get in the way of my success. You know, I'm going to do everything possible. I'm going to take care of my family and all that. But what I would tell you about your goals is it's your why. It's why you are doing this. You need to know your why. I mean, you need to know it. And it needs to drive you. It needs to be the thing that pushes you. It, it, if your why is big enough, there are, there are no excuses. And, you know, I have pictures all around my desk of, you know, my, my granddaughter, my family, our isogenics family, you know, and that's my why. And when I go into my uh, computer, I know that just drives me, keeps me focused. It's like I keep going and going and going because my why is so big. And then what you want to do is you want to do that. And then you want to share your why with people. I mean, your why needs to be powerful. I mean, let's say it's just you want to get out of debt. Maybe that's your big why. Well, write all your debt down on a little thing right here. Write all your debt down. And as you accomplish it, you cross it off. But you keep that old debt so you know that you accomplish that goal. You have it in front of you at all times. And that will keep driving you forward. It will keep motivating you. It will keep pushing you. Because your brain sees that and your brain wants you to succeed. And when you see that all the time, it just keeps firing and firing. It makes you go to work. And then set goals for yourself, realistic goals. You know, and, and I, I truly believe that working in 30-day sprints is the best thing to do because that's the way life is. And you, know, you need to have those 30-day sprints. So where are you going to be at the end of September? You know, that's the goal. You know, how many new enrollments will you have? Are you following the leadership and action formula? You know, are you, how many consultants will you break? How many managers will you break? And then just write that down. And then when you have those goals down, you go through your genealogy, you go through the Penny app and you see the possibilities of people. Okay, there's a consultant right there. We got to get her to manager. Here's, here's a person that has just one person, person role. Let's get them to consultant. So 
writing those down right in front of you and then looking, drilling in and seeing who you can help rank advance, who you can see doing that really, really works and put their names in front of you. Have them right out there. I used to have big poster boards all over my office of people that I was working with because it was in front of me, it kept me going and going and going. So that always works um, for your goals and then put them everywhere, not just on your desk, put them on your refrigerator because it's the place we go a lot of times, put them on your bathroom mirror, put them in your car windshield, everywhere. You need to have those goals in front of you all the time because it will make you take action. Yeah, I love that. So intentional and having it right there. And the brain does work that way. <laughs> it definitely works. So I have a lot of uh, new people on the team or people who maybe they feel really comfortable with the product. Um, I know we've talked on the phone and I shared with you about my organization is really mainly built from happy customers that thought, hey, this makes sense to share. So I find that a lot of times, and I know it was something I struggled with in the beginning too, is casting that vision of the business when you're newer or when you might not have the confidence. Um, can you give a little bit of advice or tips on that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, that is, you know, that is a challenge for some people in the beginning, but you just need to know how to get through the challenge. That's all. <laughs> and, you know, um, I can tell you, it's good to, to lean on someone else's story. So for example, maybe you just started and you're talking to someone, uh, and you're telling them about Isogenics, the products, you're real excited. Say, look, I'm working with this dynamic couple. I'm working with Rod and Gina, and they are showing us the way. They're showing us how to create an additional income stream, sharing these amazing products. It's really made a difference in my life, especially during this time when we need extra money. You know, just using their stories or using someone else's story, it makes a huge difference. They're showing us the way. They're guiding us. They've been doing this. They've had record-breaking success. And the bottom line is you can do the same thing too. So it's leaning on their story and it gets easier and easier as you do that. But when you're introducing someone new to Isogenics and you're sharing your story for the first time, um, you know, it would go something like this. Like that, that's, I'll just use myself as an example. You know, I used to be a dental hygienist. I, I did love my profession, but I was so burned out. I just couldn't do it anymore. And I started on these amazing products. I got more energy, endurance, and stamina. I feel phenomenal. And what I'm so excited, I'm excited about my future. I started a business with this company and I'm so excited about having other people experience this too. It is the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I'm looking for some motivated people that would like to do this with me. And then just let them respond. They're, they may say to, to you, they may say at that time, well, tell me more about it. But then you've introduced the product, your, your results on the product, you told them you started a business. And then you say, you know, they might say, well, tell me more about it. And then, then what you'd say is, what got you excited about my story? Was it the product story or the business story? So you just need to be good at asking questions. The magic is in asking the right question. So ask that question. Um, really do ask that question. What got you most excited? And then you go with that. Because, you know, the average person has no idea. They cannot even fathom making a six-figure income or a seven-figure. And they just can't fathom. But they can think about, I can show you how to get your car payment. I can show you how to pay for your house payment. So make it relatable. Because how many people would like to have an income coming in that paid for their car payment and their house payment? A lot of people. It'll give you a lot more peace of mind. It'll give you more security. So... You know, be relatable when you're talking to the person and know who you're talking to. You know, if you're talking to a high net worth person or a very successful person, you might have a little bit different story about the business. I'm working with this amazing couple, you know, and they're six figure earners and they're showing other people how to, how to create a six figure income from their home. So it depends who you're talking to. <laughs> and, you know, because some people can't imagine that some people make 40,000 a year, they can't imagine making six figures, but it is possible. <laughs> Yeah, that's great advice. I think just, like you said, knowing who you're talking to and being relatable and not maybe not overthinking that it has to be so huge all the time. We can just help somebody get their car payment and pay bills and pay off debt and really relate to them. So that, that was really helpful. Um, so as we're like winding down 2020, 
And I know, I know you said it at that last call, <laughs> we're ready to say goodbye to 2020 and have 2021. And I know our team's just so just on fire. There's so much momentum and they're really excited to make sure that they're really launching their business. And I know that that comes from work that starts now. If you want to launch in 2021, you've got to really start some groundwork. So what would you say to this whole team that they should be doing or any advice or anything to really focus on the most or your biggest tips to ensure that when this new year comes around, they are just like ready to go and they're already set up for that success. And that's really good. Well, you know, it start it starts right now. It's the second I need some water. The first thing, you know, I would do is I'd set a goal for yourself, whatever that is. Maybe you want to be a one star. Maybe you want to go executive. Whatever it is, write it down. And then, you know, how much money that would mean to your family, you know, extra, because this is a lot of people have their careers as extra income. Some people are full time too of course, but um, the average person is part-time. But set goals for yourself and, and have that down. And then know exactly you know, what your goal is, what you want to do personally with your business, and then sit down and have a family meeting with your family. I'm just telling you, I could have never done what I uh, do without that. I could never do what I do now without that. I mean, last night, Eric and I and Jim had a family meeting on Zoom you know, going over our goals, what we're going to do and getting everybody committed. So the same thing is with your family. Sit down with your spouse and share with them how important this is to you and how your life will be different. So let's dream a little bit. What do we really, really want to accomplish with this? And, you know, your, your dreams will change and your why will change all the time. And that's just life. And it's okay. And let's say you want to, you know, have a new kitchen or, or maybe you want to pay off your debt or maybe you want to send your kids to a good school or whatever it is you get that you really talk about that and kind of dream possibilities what would an extra 2,000 every single month do for our family and then you need to have a family meeting with your children and I swear that's probably one of the most important meetings you have and let your kids start dreaming. Let your kids are, children are so amazing. You know, their dreams and their goals and what they want. And, you know, because they have no barriers. They have no blocks. And ask them, you know, um, mom and dad are going to be really successful with this. What would you like to have different in your life? What do you want? Do you want to go on vacation? Do you want us to fix your room up? Or you, but let them do it. But I mean, you know, if they don't have any ideas, then you could give them some ideas. And they say, look, we're going to work on this as a family together. And we're going to do this. And we're going to have rewards when I reach certain benchmarks. And that really helped me. I just can't tell you. It helped me immensely. And then what I would do is I would have my time. I time blocked everything. So I would have a big uh, weekly count and made a new weekly count calendar every single week. We book in Eric's things that he had, his golf, his, you know, basketball, whatever it was, we booked those in first. Then we booked in, you know, then I booked in my time blocking and then what nights Jim was going to take care of Eric, what nights I was working, you know, so, so we would switch. So we had really, really good communication. So it, like Jim knows I'm working tonight. So, you know, he's preparing the dinner or he's getting, doing Eric's homework with him when he was home, that kind of stuff. So we just knew, and we knew what our responsibilities, we had it right on the refrigerator. And then we had a big vision of our goal. Our goal was to go to Hawaii. I wanted to take him to Hawaii and experience that. And so, you know, he was always cooperative that way because he knew what that was, that dream and that goal. And then being really, really organized. I could not do what I do without being organized. I'm extremely organized. I time block. I do that. But you have to have blocking time for yourself too, for self-care and to do things and to celebrate your success. But you want to, you definitely, you want to do that. You want to set that up and get ready to go. Then you need to simply really, really follow what all the other successful leaders do, you know, and find out who in your team is committed so you know you're on this line you're obviously all committed but 
who in your team that maybe not be on this line is committed. So you go back and say, look, at, I'm taking my business to the next level. And I see so many amazing qualities in you. And I thought about you, would you like to run really hard until the end of the year and really create something special? And you can voice text too, because you can't always have time to call everybody because you got kids and stuff. You can voice, I'm taking my business to the next level. I thought about you. And I'm, what I'm going to tell you is that we need to do this together. And, you know, that, that really makes a difference if you, if you voice text them, get their commitment. And if they'll say, text me back if you're interested. Then you sit down with this person and you go over what they want, what their why is, why they're doing this, what they want to achieve. You know, do they want to get out of debt? Do they want to make an extra thousand a month? What it is. And then you start you're setting goals with them. You find out where you are. You always have to know where you are. And I always tell people you have to work with five people. You work with five people intensely. And you work with them until they become like a three-star. And then they're usually elevated enough to do it on their own. And usually they start doing their calls and their different things. And then you still collaborate. But, you know, you work with those five. You build them up to their self-sustaining leaders. And then, you know, when, you're, when your five leaders have risen up, then you go get another five leaders that you're going to be working with. Because that's the fun part. The fun part is watching people, you know, go up the ladder, the, have the successes, to watch them blossom, to watch them grow, to watch them just come alive. And that's what I see with people with isogenics. They come alive. So, you know, that's knowing where you are and then getting the action steps in. How many people, so if I was working with Gina, how many people are you going to personally enroll? How many people are you going to, consultants are you going to break? You know, I, you know how many managers are you going to, what is your goal? Because the beautiful part about this business is not what you do, but it's what others do. So if you're consistently breaking new managers and you're breaking a new director, what's going to happen to you? You go up the ladder. And that's what's, what's the best part. And just say you're going to match their energy with, you know, you're going to match energy. I'm going to work as hard as you are. We'll set up times for three ways. You know, we're going to do different things. So I, I, would, I would say that's what I would be doing right now. But you need to be running. I mean, you need to spend 80% 80, 80 of your time talking to new people, doing three ways, really, you know, connecting with people. You know, and then connecting with your team members and doing calls with them and doing three ways and casting the vision and sharing the possibilities because this, this couple right here can cast big possibilities for you. And sometimes people don't dream anymore. They don't think big. I never, ever, ever thought that I had the ability. When I was a hygienist, I worked on linear income. All I could produce was what I did with like my hands. If I got sick, I didn't get paid. I could never fathom about building a network of people that buy and consume the best products that would create a massive residual income for my family until it started to happen. And you have to make it happen. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to do this and I'm committing. And you need to let Gina and Rod know if you're committed because they only have time to work with committed people. And that's just the way it is. And, you know, they'll support you and they'll do whatever you are. But if you're committed and you're going to run with them, I would let them know. Because, you know, it, it is so much fun, the camaraderie and all the things that you can do and uh, with, this, with this amazing business. It's not work at all. It's about changing people's lives. Yeah, that was so great. And was yeah, we're so excited. And um, I will say, if you and you guys have seen my journey, that's what Kathy was just saying. Rod and I do that. Like we, early on, we just would dream big when we were in piles of debt um, you know, struggling and just saw the opportunity, we just started to dream and started to think, you know, what will we do when this happens and really believe it. Um, in fact, we would in the morning read a thing that we made of what we would already be grateful for as if it was already there. So we would say thank you in advance for, and gosh, almost everything on the list has been coming. Funny enough, Kathy, I actually even had there he being a keynote speaker. And then a few months later, I get the call from um, Mac Larson. I mean, it's like that interesting how that really happens when you focus on it, visualize what you want. So I know it could be hard to think of in the beginning because when we were first started, you know, we didn't even know what we had in front of us. So I love that advice. And we are living proof that that advice actually really truly works. 
And we definitely would love for really, truly committed people when you're ready to really run. Um, what I love what Kathy said is you just got to dive in and do it because the hot and cold, the kind of I'm in, I'm out, um, you know, it, you, we always say, we'll walk with you if you want to walk, you know, jog if you want to jog, but it's hard to explode, right? And to create this massive growth when you do it that way, because what happens is you, you're going so slowly, by the time you're building up your team, some people might fall off and there's no momentum there for you. So the urgency, putting a deadline on yourself, and I do remember just other training that we had, that it was like, think of the urgency as if your life depended on it, you create a team. And it really is something that's just sparks and there's a fire in you and you just know when you're ready and you're just gonna do it. So I love that. And um, that was just advice that you guys can honestly sit on tonight and really think about, like, is this going to be what you're going to do? Take it, run with it, and have that sense of urgency. So, um, oh, Kathy, and you know, I mean, you know just as well as <clears throat> is, you know, guys, just putting it out there, not only just putting it out there, but putting it out there and actually feeling it and knowing, feeling yourself being in the moment, but also knowing that you yourself are worthy of it is a big attractor of what you can achieve. And that's just all it is. It's not just throwing it out there, writing it down on a piece of paper and shoving it in your drawer. Just feeling it and being it and knowing you deserve it every single day and just watch what happens over time. It comes. Yeah. That's and having so the communication with each other, like Kathy said, your family, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, parents, whoever you're close to, um, that's definitely helped us. Like, get our energy up and your team members so um that was really helpful kathy Definitely. and i think proclaiming it too and sit and share your goals with people so what you might want to do on another call is go around and have everybody share their goal and where they're going to be and that is a great way because it kind of holds your feet to the fire mm -hmm. and yeah. see that i think that's another thing i would do with your team that's yeah good idea. yeah we'll definitely do that so any closing yeah advice words of wisdom anything just to take you know kind of i want everybody to not sleep tonight so i know who, whoever texts me tomorrow i couldn't sleep last night i know they're really fired up <laughs> well i i would say that the number one thing you need to do to to really um achieve your goals and dreams is keep your energy up you know you you have to take care of yourself in the morning or it, like I, I i do a lot of exercise in the morning it gets me so fired up it gets me going it keeps my energy up i listen to music i do calls with leaders but get your energy up every single day because that's what's going to make you take action you know um or listen to high energy music right before you do a call so you get your energy up it's so important energy is everything and half the people that are going to be listening to you they listen for your energy your passion and your enthusiasm they don't listen to the words you say <laughs> but they listen to that and then it's the enthusiasm of the team you have got a dynamic team right here and you, uh, gene and rod you may even want to come up with a team why of why you're doing this. i've seen a lot of successful people and I said, Dennis, they come up with a team why to have, you know, parents be able to stay home with their children to have, you know, we are creating, a, you know, a group of people that are committed to providing the lifestyle for our children that we want and have all everything available to them. And we're working together as this or maybe we're helping families get out of debt so they don't have any stress anymore. So they have peace of mind and create that great residual income, whatever it is that it that gets everybody fired up. I mean, it's good to have that team Y because you can say our whole team is working to have this great additional income stream that's gonna change their life. You know, it's gonna make a huge impact. So whatever it is, so that enthusiasm of the team like you're doing now, everybody gets fired up and then execute. Execute, execute, execute. And when you execute, you know, and you win, celebrate your success because your, your, your brain and everything loves success. It wants you to succeed. And then you get that feeling of a success. You know, it's like when you became successful, you get that rush, that feeling, and you just want to keep going and you want to keep going and you want to keep going. And that's what you all can do, every single one of you. And that energy, everybody's gonna have up and down days, but I'm sure there's some people on your team that just are go-getters and enthusiasm and pour passion out. Listen to good podcasts uh, or listen to, I, I love YouTube, I'm addicted to YouTube. I'll go on and I'll put on, you know, mindset, 
you know, and all the people come up, somebody with really high energy is there, you know, and I listen to them and I get excited and I'm taking notes and then I just want to take action. So whatever it is you need to do to keep your energy up and to execute is what you need to do and the magic can happen. You can have anything you want in your life. You know, I, I said Dennis is just the vehicle, it is. It's a beautiful community of people that really care about other people. You couldn't have anything better. And I'll tell you what, we're behind you all the way. We have so many exciting things coming out. Here at the end of the October, we'll have our seasonal catalog. We have our um, ISA, um, what would they call ISA Masters this Saturday. And our FAB will actually be teaching them how they, what they say, what they do. You know, we learn from other people. I, I listen to the calls because I learned something from them. And then we have our ISA Academy on the 17th. And there'll be a lot of fun things on that too. And lots of good breakout sessions and so many things on that event. So, you know, that's the way we have to have community now. We can't have our events, but, you know, it's, I, I look forward to those. I look forward to looking in people's eyes and, and, and seeing their energy and their passion. So just thank you for all you do and, and let Gina and Rod know if you're in, if you're committed and, you know, where you want to go. And, you know, they'll help you achieve your success. It's just so great to be able to have mentorship, um, you know, and all that camaraderie. There's no other business in the world better than network marketing. That was so great and so true. And we just absolutely are so, so grateful to you and Jim and Eric and your, the whole corporate team is amazing. Like we've just been so blessed and mm -hmm. we are, you're in our gratitude every day. Um, our girls even know I didn't say it. So <laughs> I just, I really hope everybody can feel like how special this company is and it starts from the top. You know, it really truly does. Um, Kathy, before we go, I don't know, I have a, quite a few team members with their books. Did you want to maybe take a screenshot or anything and we'll all hold our books up? Okay, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Let me put the whole view on here so I get you all. Okay, and if you guys have your, your books and hold them up. How oh, sweet. Oh my gosh. Wow. There we go. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. It's yeah. excellent. Really well done. And thank you for taking your time out tonight. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So okay. It's great to see all your beautiful faces. Best of luck to you. I'll be cheering you on. Thanks, Just Kathy. Have a good night. Okay. <laughs> Love right. it. Nice thank Kathy. you, team. Thanks bye for bye. calling in tonight. Have a great night, everyone. Wow. Right? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get to see the other oh, everybody saying thank you. Okay, good. Yeah, she was on fire. Such I need to be recorded, right? Because like I could listen to that every morning. Oh, I'm still recording it. Let me stop it.